consider 2 raised to 5 and 2 raised to 3. Now, what to do? Let us try to find their division. Let us try for 2 raised to 5 divided by 2 raised to 3. We can write it as 2 multiplied with itself 5 times divided by 2 multiplied with itself 3 times. After cancelling, it is equal to 2 into 2 or 2 square, which is simply 2 raised to 5 minus 3. Similarly, we can write 6 raised to 7 divided by 6 raised to 4 as 6 multiplied with itself 7 times divided by 6 multiplied with itself 4 times. After cancellation, it gives 6 multiplied with itself 3 times, which is equal to 6 cube or 6 raised to 7 minus 4. Have you noticed that 2 raised to 5 divided by 2 raised to 3 is equal to 2 raised to 5 minus 3 and 6 raised to 7 divided by 6 raised to 4 is equal to 6 raised to 7 minus 4. In general, for a non-zero number A, and natural numbers m and n with m greater than n, we have a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a multiplied with itself m times divided by a multiplied with itself n times. Now, cancelling a from both numerator and denominator n times we obtain a into a into a written m minus n times, which is a raised to m minus n. Okay, that is fine. Now, let us try for a similar but a different thing that does not fit directly in the formula. Consider the number 2 raised to 5 and divide it by itself. The result is 1, that is 2 raised to 5 divided by 2 raised to 5 is equal to 1. This result is valid even if we replace 2 by a non-zero number a and 5 by a natural number n, that is we have a raised to n divided by a raised to n is equal to 1. Now, if we try to apply the rule a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n here, it suggests that a raised to n divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to n minus n, that is a raised to n minus n is equal to 1 or a raised to 0 which is equal to 1. Fantastic! So, we define a raised to 0 to be 1. Try to understand the meaning of this statement. When we say a raised to 1, it means simply a or we can say it equals 1 into a. That is, 1 is multiplied by a once. Similarly, a square means a into a or 1 into a into a, that is 1 multiplied by a twice. So, a raised to 0 will mean that 1 is multiplied by a 0 times and hence the result is only 1. Okay, now once again let us start with a raised to n upon a raised to n is equal to 1. Write it as a raised to n minus n is equal to 1. And this time let us try to apply the rule 
a raise to m into a raise to n is equal to a raise to m plus n. It suggests us to write a raise to n minus n is equal to 1 as a raise to n plus minus of n is equal to 1 which gives a raise to n into a raise to minus n is equal to 1. But wait, what does a raise to minus n mean? We have not yet defined negative powers of a. But this statement, if is valid, must mean that the multiplication of a raise to n and a raise to minus n is equal to 1. So, it gives us a raise to n into a raise to minus n divided by a raise to n is 1 upon a raise to n or simply a raise to minus n is equal to 1 upon a raise to n, simply the reciprocal of a raise to n. So, let us define a raise to minus n as 1 upon a raise to n for any natural number n and a non-zero number a. Remember, we are simply playing with the numbers and their positive powers. Okay, this is enough right now. Let us try to solve few problems now. Try to write 2 raised to 2 minus 2 raised to minus 2 in the fraction form. Consider the rule a raised to n into b raised to n which is equal to a into b whole raised to n where n is a natural number. Now, try to find a rule for a raised to minus n into b raised to minus n and similarly for a raised to minus n into b raised to n. What will be the result if we change n by minus n in the rule a raise to n whole raise to m is equal to a raise to n into m. Try. Keep exploring.